and welcome to Smooth Fusion Sitefinity version 11 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you an overview of the Sitefinity backend for admin and content editors. The primary function of a CMS backend, as with all CMSs, is to enable content editors and admin to make updates to the website with little reliance on their development team or development partners. This page here is the Sitefinity dashboard which you are shown on login. But there are seven additional tabs that have features and functions that we're going to explore at a high level. So beginning with, if your site has multi-site enabled, you will see your website name and a drop down here. And this, from this tab, you are able to modify uh, site providers and settings, as well as alternate between your multi-site instances. Secondly, we have the dashboard which, as I mentioned, is the page that loads once you log into Sitefinity and out of the box you will see a number of widgets already configured like my content, recent blog post, everyone's content, and this allows you to track changes that have been made on the site, or at least content. If you'd like to alter the dashboard and remove or add new widgets, you can do so here at the Configure Dashboard Widgets. Thirdly, we have the Pages tab, and this tab is where you will modify your pages and content. So you will create, remove, and edit pages from this tab. And once you land on this page, you can see your parent pages and child's pages nested in a page tree. You can select any one of these individually to go into that page to modify it, or you can use Actions drop down here to see other options for that page. We won't go into these in this version, but we will in a future video. Thirdly, you have your content dropdown. This is where you will manage some of your content that appears on pages in widgets. So if you are managing news items and blogs and events in one of these modules, the content will be manifested through a widget that you add to the page. These consist of the providers that you use on your site. You can share providers if you have a multi-site. However, some sites do isolate providers per site. And so most of these items that you see here, minus perhaps showcases and slides and testimonials, are unique to Sitefinity out of the box. So you have news to manage news, blogs for blogs, events, images, videos, documents and files, forms, lists, and content blocks. Content blocks of, that appear here are shared content blocks. Additionally, you can use forms and comments as well as handle taxonomy, so tags and categories. Fifth, fourth, fifth, we have the e-commerce tab. Not many of the users of Sitefinity version 11 are using this feature, but if you are, this is where you will go to manage your products and departments and shipping methods and payment methods as well as taxes. And sixth, we have the design tab. This is largely unmodified by admin and content editors. However, if you need to go in and view your page templates that have been created for you or duplicate them, you can do so here in the page templates option. And the widgets templates is rarely modified as well, but this is where you will see templates for some of the widgets that are in use. Responsive and mobile design, we typically do our own custom responsiveness, but if you're using that Sitefinity's out of the box feature, you can navigate to it through here. Seventh, we have the administration drop down. If you're a content editor with restricted permissions, you might not see some or all of these options, but this is where admins can go into configure roles and users, permissions, settings for the site, search indexes, user files, web services, as well as create and modify modules and update licensing and access files on the site, as well as additional connectors if you have purchased those as add-ons. Lastly, we have the marketing tab. In this tab, you can view analytics integrations, personalization if you're using it, A-B testing, campaigns for emails, message templates, mailing lists, and subscribers. And if you have Digital Experience Cloud, you can access insights through here. So. This has been an overview of Sitefinity tabs and their functions. We will delve deeper into each one of these tabs and their options in future videos. For more Sitefinity tips and tricks, be sure to follow our blog or to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Thanks.